Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lucy Radwell and you're joining me today on my big misguided payday haul. I just want to start off by saying a massive thank you to those of you that have subscribed to my channel since watching my past couple of videos. Um, I appreciate your support so much, especially at this real early stage of my channel and um, welcome to those of you that are perhaps joining me for the first time and if you do enjoy this video please do subscribe so you can stay up to date with any future vids. So seeing as it was payday I thought I would treat myself to a few, well a lot, I spent a massive £500 um, of my favourite things off Misguided which I've had my eye on over the past few weeks. Um, yeah, so they're all pieces that are relatively new in, um, so I will link them all below in order of appearance um, for you guys to check out. So I really hope that you enjoy seeing the pieces that I've picked up. Um, so this top I'm wearing now was actually um, in the package that I received, the things that I picked up. But I loved it so much, I knew that I wanted to wear it in the video. So um, yeah, I absolutely loved it. It's got like a green, red and um, pink pattern through it. Um, I do have quite a few bodysuits like this at the moment and I love them, but I haven't got one that's got a kind of a large print through it. They're all quite dainty prints. So when I saw this one that has kind of the quite bold floral pattern, I thought I really want to get my hands on that. And as you can see, I've just teamed it with like a plain black bralette underneath and it just looks really nice so um yeah i hope you guys are like this and of course i will link it this top below um because i know you guys like me to link the items that i wear in my video as well in the description and then after that everything that i show you is going to be linked in order um so you can check them out online so first up is this little uh, faux leather white mini skirt um, I absolutely love this because this style skirt, um, Miss Guy did sell it in about, I, wouldn't, I want to say like 10 different colours, like honestly so many. I have about five of them and they are just such a nice little mini skirt. The fit is perfect. Of course it's kind of like sits high waisted so it's really flattering. Um, and when I saw that they'd released it in white I knew that I had to get my hands on it because I love wearing my other ones so much and I also think white just looks so nice on like white skirts I just absolutely love they're a little bit more high maintenance than other colours but I just think they're so worth it um, and look so nice with a bit of fake tan on the legs if I can say so white skirts are also so easy to style up as well um, any black, we, us girls have so many black crop tops, don't we? I swear, black crop tops and black bodysuits are just, I mean, I've got, must have about 30 altogether, like, of so many. And a white skirt will go with pretty much any of those, you can guarantee. Like, any little black crop top that's cute will look so nice with this. So, yeah, just really easy to kind of mix up the styling for, like, a Saturday night out or something. Next up, we have these high-waisted, um, nudie camel colour bandage trousers. These are part of Misguided's Peace and Love collection, which is, um, if you don't already know, uh, a range that they release um, every season, which is full of kind of more premium items that are a bit more sassy, a bit more going out, um, and a little bit more expensive and um, of a better quality, I would say. So when I saw that they have these high-waisted bandage trousers, I just knew that I had to get my hands on them because I have some similar in black and they're so flattering. Like they're super stretchy, so they really kind of pull you in at the waist and just give a really nice um, figure. And I think this camel colour is just so stunning. So I would probably wear this with a little white crop top or um, a bodysuit. Maybe like another shade of um, camel or nude would look really cute with this. And I also think in the winter, it's all about experimenting with different types of trousers. Obviously during the summer we wear loads of skirts, um, but when it gets to winter and it's a bit colder, I think wearing kind of cool trousers like this for nights out and stuff is a really nice alternative. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about wearing these and I think they're going to look super cute on. And they're just something a bit different, which I absolutely love. Next up we have this little um, black chiffon long sleeve tie front crop top. Um, I absolutely love tops like this at the moment. I absolutely love tops like this at the moment because I think they're so perfect if you want to add a bit of layering into your outfit. I would wear this with a bralette similar to what I'm wearing now, perhaps one, but perhaps one that's a little bit more detailed. Um, so maybe one that's got like harness detailing or a bit of lace coming through. 
and style it so that you can see the bralette showing underneath the top. Um, I just think that would look absolutely lovely on and I've worn outfits um, similar to this recently and I've really really loved them so when I saw that they have this little black kind of overlay top I just thought this would be perfect for creating another look that's similar to that. Next up is this choker and necklace combo. If you go on my Instagram you'll see that I'm wearing loads of necklaces like this at the moment. I just love um, adding them to outfits for an extra bit of layering like I spoke about in my previous item and this was only £8 so I thought that was a commit bargain because you practically get two necklaces in that um, and it is that lovely kind of high shiny gold effect um, which really catches the eye so I love this. Next up we have this oversized chiffon plunge detail shirt blouse. Um, I've been looking to get a shirt like this for a while because I just think white shirts and blouses are just such a classic look that actually looks really glamorous and effortless. Um, so I've been trying to keep an eye out for something like this for a while and when I saw this on Misguided I thought I would definitely have to get my hands on that. Um, as you can see it's an oversized fit and I picked this up in a size 10 just because they didn't have an 8 in stock when I was buying my haul things online. In hindsight I would have picked up a size 8 but because it wasn't available and I knew I definitely wanted to get my hands on it I just picked it up in a 10 because I thought well I'm going to be tucking it in or kind of tying it so it's not really going to make much difference and I'm all about kind of the oversized relaxed fit so it didn't really matter with this item. Because like I say with the plunge detailing um, similarly to what I was saying about with the black top, it looks so nice with a kind of lacy or harness bra bralette showing underneath it. Um, so I would, I basically bought this so I knew that I could kind of tuck it into some jeans or tie it at the front and have a bit of bralette showing through. I just think there is something so effortless and classy and glamorous about just wearing a white shirt or blouse. So um, yeah. Next up we have an item which I actually bought to team with the white blouse that I've just shown and it is this white harness bralette. The lace goes right round the back and it has the hook and eye fastenings um, and it's really thick banded at the back which I also absolutely love. Um, I do actually already own this in black. So when I saw that they'd released it in white, I just knew I had to get my hands on it because I wear my black one so much and I get so many compliments from it. Miss Guy did have actually regrammed a couple of my images on Instagram where I've been wearing it. So, you know, it just goes to show how much everyone loves it. And I thought this would just look perfect underneath the white chiffon blouse that I've just shown. Um, so I kind of bought this to team with the blouse, but I know that I'll wear this with lots of other outfits as well. I bought this in a size 8 which would be my usual sizing for misguided um, and I find that my black one fits really well so I'm expecting this one to be the same really. Now I'm all about finding kind of funky cool high waisted trousers in autumn winter so when I saw these um, faux leather kind of biker racer style um, trousers I just fell in love, I absolutely love these. So they're high-waisted, I wouldn't ever buy any trousers that weren't high-waisted to be honest because nobody wants that in their life. Um, and I just think these will look so cool on, I absolutely love them and I'm really excited to wear them. They don't have any stretch in them obviously because they're leather trousers so I'm hoping that they fit well. My usual experience with trousers from Misguided is I would buy my usual size so I don't think I should have any problems there. And I just thought these are really cool and I love them. It can get so boring in autumn winter when you literally just have to wear jeans all the time. Um, obviously in summer we have skirts, we have play suits, we have dresses, but in autumn winter you're kind of quite restricted so you end up wearing trousers and jeans a lot and I don't know about you guys but I get so bored of wearing jeans all the time, especially for like nights out and things. So when I find fun kind of cool high waisted trousers I love mixing it up with a bit of trouser sass um, because like I say jeans can just get a little bit dull all the time. My next top that I've picked up is one that I have bought especially really to wear with the leather trousers that I've just shown um, because I wasn't really sure what 
top I would wear with them and I wanted something that was quite plain and that kind of tied into the um, trousers. So when I saw this little Bardo style bodysuit with the silver detailing, I just thought it would be perfect to wear with the trousers. This is obviously a Bardo style, so it's off the shoulder, which I absolutely love, like a little bit of sandy vibes, especially with the leather trousers. And I thought, when you wear trousers on like a night out or for going out, obviously that's quite covered up. So if you have like a little bit of skin showing on the shoulders, I just think that's a really nice balance for a look. And this silver detailing, which is actually poppers, which undo, um, matches the silver detailing which are on the leather trousers. So I think this would actually look like a really well put together combination. I really think pretty Bardo style bodysuits like this are really handy just to have in your wardrobe as well. I wear this on the weekend just with some blue jeans um, and just style up casually as well. So win-win with this really. My next item is this thick um, waterfall jacket with tie front detailing. As you can see, it's got a large collar on it, which just sits down at the front of the coat um, really lovely and looks so nice with this belt, which just ties as tight as you like around your waist. So it gives a really flattering shape. Um, it was just over knee length, I think. So yeah, I'm really happy with this buy and I think that I will wear this loads. It's got a little bit of detailing on the cuff here, but it's reasonably plain and that's why I picked it up to be honest. I've been looking for a jacket like this for a while. If you watched my last haul, you'll realise that I recently invested in quite a lot of kind of casual daytime coats. Um, but I've been on the lookout for one that I can wear more for evenings and weekends if I'm going for a nice meal or some drinks. Something that's a little bit more formal rather than kind of rocking up to a nice meal in my lovely dress but with this big puffer coat over the top it doesn't really go so I've been looking out for a really good quality thick waterfall jacket um, I can't I didn't really think I would find one on misguided to be honest I thought I was going to have to look more on um, pre more premium sites to find what I was looking for but when I saw this online um, I just thought it was absolutely perfect and exactly what I was looking for just something that kind of tied around the waist was easy to pop on and take off um, for kind of more dressy occasions so I am so happy with this and you, if you notice the label isn't in it because I wore this out last night um, I went on date night with my boyfriend and um, so we went to quite a nice restaurant and bar and I was wearing a nice dress so I thought oh this is perfect and this is exactly what I bought the coat for so I can wear it to those nice occasions where you want to feel a little bit more special. Next up we have these cute little ankle sock boots. I absolutely love these because they're so affordable and so pretty. They look so nice with the rounded toe. I absolutely love them. I actually already own these in the nude colour. So when I saw that they released them in the black, I wanted to get my hands on them as well because I love the nude ones, but I don't really think they're very versatile. And I'm slightly worried about the nude ones getting stained quite quickly um, if I wore them out and it was kind of a little bit wet outside or something I think they would mark. Um, so when I saw these black ones, I thought these are so much more versatile. And um, I do think in autumn, winter, we do move more towards wearing heeled um, boots for dressy occasions rather than just standard heels. Um, so I know that I'll probably get quite a lot of wear out of these too. And they're super stretchy. They don't have a zipper or anything. They just slide onto your foot and they're quite tight as well. So I feel like they wouldn't look baggy. they will be well fitted to the ankle. My next item is this absolutely stunning, I would say it's an ivory colour cami blouse. Um, I fell in love with this because the colour of it is just absolutely beautiful. Like I say, it's not a white, it's an off-white which I think looks so glamorous and gives the illusion of a really nice quality material, almost like a satiny feel. Um, I, I just think tops like this are so handy to have in your wardrobe. I said in a previous haul, whenever I see tops online which are really pretty, kind of going out tops, I always pick them up because you always need them and feel like you never have them in your wardrobe. And I don't know what it is about tops, you always want to wear one that's new, <laughs> especially if it's like a going out of your friends or something. So whenever I see pretty ones online, I always pick them up. It's got a really nice tie front detail which would cinch in at the waist area and this kind of large draping down the front of the chest. The straps are adjustable which is perfect if you're thinking this looks like it is quite low. I think if I put it on like this it would be really low cut but I can of course adjust the straps so you can have them however kind of high or low you want so that's perfect. And um, yeah I just thought this was really really pretty little top to wear. 
Next up we have these knee length boots which are in this beautiful camel colour. Um, I absolutely love these because I'm loving the knee high and over the knee um, boot trend at the moment. However I find it's been really hard to find some that aren't either completely flat or really high kind of going out boots. Um, so when I saw these, which look like they have a little bit of a heel but nothing too high, they are the perfect kind of casual daytime knee high boots rather than ones that are say completely flat, um, which I'm not totally keen on if I'm honest, or um, really high. And if you're going out for you know an afternoon shopping or something, you don't really wanna be tottering around in stiletto heels. So um, yeah, I've been on the lookout for some daytime knee high boots and I saw these and I thought they were absolutely beautiful and I love the color. These do come in black as well if you would prefer to have black. I know black's a lot more versatile but I have quite a few black boots at the moment so I opted for this beautiful camel colour. The top of the boot is elasticated so I'm hoping that's going to help them stay up a little bit higher because that is the kind of concern with knee high boots really isn't it that you can have to be like yanking them up every two minutes pulling them up but this is quite reassuring that they should stay up. So yeah I just thought these are a really cute autumn winter style and also a beautiful colour for autumn as well. And because these aren't super high and it is a block heel, I feel like these will be quite comfortable. So yeah, again, perfect for casual wearing. Next up, we have another going out top. I know you're thinking, can she possibly buy any more going out tops? I need to start going out more if I'm buying all these tops. And it is this beautiful embellished bodysuit. Um, as you already must gather, I love bodysuits. I just think they're so easy to wear with jeans. This has beautiful high neck, um, halter neck, detailing and as you can see it has these gold studs running through the whole top. Again I just picked this up because I thought this is a really pretty going out top and I love tops that have this high neck detailing on. I just think they're really glamorous and it's a really classy style um, especially if you're wearing um, like a skirt it's a little bit more covered up on the top area so yeah again it balances out an outfit really nicely. I would wear this with a little faux leather skirt and I think that would make such a cute little going out outfit. Now we have this super fluffy grey gilet. Um, I literally haven't had a gilet in so long. So when I saw this super fluffy one, I just thought, oh my God, that is so lovely for some casual styling in autumn winter. Um, I would wear this with a long sleeve bodysuit or top underneath, just really casual. I also think fluffy gilets look so nice teamed with um, knee high boots. And because knee high boots are such a big theme this autumn winter, I think this would make such a beautiful combo. Um, it does come in other colours as well, I think it was black and a few other shades but because I don't have much grey in my wardrobe right now I thought I'd mix things up a little bit and experiment with a bit of grey so hopefully that will suit me. And yeah, it's I bought this in a size 8 and it looks a little bit oversized which is perfect for um, the gilet vibe that we want to create. We don't want a gilet that's super tight, we want it to look cosy and you know not like it's restrictive at all, we want it to look really comfortable and be comfortable. Um, so yes, I think this is really cute. I love it. Now we have another cute little night out top. Um, this one's a little bit more casual. It's a blouse with like this plunge frill detail down the front and it's got sort of long sleeves and the sleeve has a little bit of detailing on it too. Again, I just love, I'm just loving polka dots at the moment. So when I saw this blouse, I thought I'd pick it up because I also have this style top in the floral print that Misguided released um, a couple of months ago and the light lilac -y chiffon -y one. Um, so I know it's a really nice fit and style. So when I saw the little polka dot number, I thought that is just super cute. And I would wear this with a little harness bralette underneath and think that's a lovely, cute little style. Next up we have a top which I just think is so glamorous. It is this high neck satin bodysuit. I saw this and I just absolutely fell in love. I just think tops like this would look so glamorous on. Because the satin material is a little bit shimmery, I just think that looks so glamorous and classy. And of course, because it's high neck, that is quite a classy style as well. I would tuck this into a skirt or some trousers and 
think this would just look absolutely stunning on. Um, I would say it does look like it comes up quite small. I imagined it to be kind of more baggy around here, so when you tucked it into the skirt or trousers, it looks a little bit looser on the top, um, which kind of frames your figure a little bit more. So I'm probably going to return this and size up and go to a size 10, just so it's not tight around here, because this is not the effect I wanted to create. I wanted something that was kind of tight around the neck, but then kind of loose, so it kind of puffs out a little bit. Um, so I will probably get this in the next size up. Um, so yeah, I recommend sizing up in this. What else I love about this bodysuit is that the, um, the lower half of it is made up of this kind of no seam material, which is really thin and stretchy. Um, because obviously, I don't know if you guys have ever had this where you've put on a bodysuit and then you put on like your skirt or your trousers to go over the top of it and you can see the outline of the bodysuit through the um, trousers or skirt and it's really not a good look, like VPL bodysuit vibes. Um, so obviously, if it's like a super thin material like this, you're not going to see the bodysuit underneath your skirt or your trousers. Last but not least, we have this cute slogan tee. I absolutely love slogan tees. I wear them so much for a casual daytime look. As you can see, I got it in quite a big size. I got this in a large because the idea was that I wanted to either tuck it into jeans, have it really loose and oversized, or kind of tie it at the front. And yeah, so I just thought this is such a cute little slogan tee to wear um, casually on the weekend or weekday. So that is it from me now guys, thank you so much for watching my misguided payday haul, I really hope that you've seen some items that you also love. Um, as I said earlier, I will link everything below in order of appearance, so if you have seen anything that you love, you can check it out in the description box below. And yeah, please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and you don't already. And follow me on Instagram too, which is at lradwell. Um, and also, please feel free to leave some comments below of any ideas of posts that you would like me to create because I absolutely love hearing from you guys. So thank you for watching guys and I will see you all in my next video.